Hello everybody and welcome to my 39 week pregnancy vlog. I cannot believe <laughs> I'm 39 weeks pregnant today. Um, a little bit surprised that I made it this far. Um, only based on like what I've been feeling and what my doctor has told me. Um, but yes, 39 weeks today. Still, uh, still small, but um, I think she might have dropped a, a little bit. So that might be a reason why she looks a little smaller. I don't know. I haven't really put on weight. I think I, I've gained like a pound or, or two. Um, it's hard to tell with because it fluctuates so much. Um, I know that's normal in the end to not really put on a lot of weight. So, but yeah, can't believe I'm 39 weeks. Like she can come any day and I have a lot to update you guys on. I'm gonna try to make this as short and to the point as possible so I am not rambling too much and I also apologize for the lighting it's um typical Florida day where like the clouds come and go and I can't decide if it wants to be cloudy or sunny or rainy or clear um <clears throat> but I had my appointment on Monday which it's Saturday so it was a whole five days ago had my appointment um her heartbeat was great she she was measuring fine my doctor wasn't concerned she said still on the small side but nothing concerning um and then she checked me and i went from one centimeter to one and a half centimeters dilated i feel like i might have been further but like when she went like to check me i might have closed up a little bit because like i kind of felt like felt myself like shrivel up if that makes sense which is really weird but i've heard that that can happen so i think i might have been more dilated than uh than she felt um and i was 60 percent effaced so i went from 20 percent effaced to 60 percent effaced and that was five days ago and i had a really strong feeling that i am practically fully effaced by now because in the last three-ish days, I've been losing a lot of mucus, which is so gross, and I never thought I'd be talking about this on the internet. Um, but I'm like 90% sure that I lost my mucus plug because I don't know what else it could have been. Um, so yeah, it was clear. It wasn't like bloody or anything like that. It wasn't bloody show. It was just my mucus plug. I'm like 90% sure that it is gone. Um, a wish I read can mean that you go into labor within days <laughs> or within weeks. So um, it really isn't a good indicator to know whether I'm going to go into labor soon or not. But um, it, it is a good sign, I think, that um, labor is imminent, at least. <laughs> I've been trying to um, bounce on my ball every day for at least about half an hour. I should probably be doing it even more just to try to get her to drop lower and to get her head to like really push down on my cervix so that it can be nice and ripe for when I go into labor. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much the update on my appointment. Um, I don't really have any different symptoms. My eczema is still um, improving slightly, at least on my face, on my elbows and my neck, it's still kind of iffy um my nasal congestion is still the same and um just overall i've just been uncomfortable um she's been so active and her kicks have been like so strong that it, it's just like uncomfortable um like i can't get comfortable watching tv on the couch with my husband anymore the only way that i'm like comfortable is if i'm like sitting upright which isn't super comfortable or if I'm laying down in bed with all my pillows around me. So that's kind of annoying, but I mean, I know it's very temporary because I know that she'll be here any day. So um, it's not really something worth complaining about. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, that's it for my ramble this week. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Um, I have some things to do today and I'm going to bring you guys along. I wanted to film a quick nursery update because is pretty much finished. <laughs> I will try to film a nursery tour, um, but I don't know if it'll be before she's born or not, to be quite honest. Um, still in the crib, I'm keeping the hospital bags and everything that we're taking to the hospital. So the crib is not made yet. I've been over that 
a lot before. Um, but yes, um, I showed you guys the mogul last week and then my mom and I hung up her name. Um, these letters are by Rifle Paper Company and um, I just put them on some jute and I mean, that's her name. I've already been over how I like spoiled her name accidentally. So um, I'll share her like, full name once she's born, but that's her first name. And then over here, we just hung um, this really cute bunny mirror. It's from H&M years ago. This mirror was from the Target uh, dollar section. And then these two heart cooks are also from the Target dollar section. And I'm going to put some headbands on those. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much her nursery area is just about finished. I just kind of need to like clean it up and organize some last minute things and make her bed. And it's done. I also went ahead and sanitized all of her pacifiers and all of my like pump parts. Um, I have two like manual pumps. I have the Hakka and then this Lansano manual pump. Um, I'm hoping I won't need an electric, but we will see. Um, so yeah, all of that is sanitized and ready to go for when she gets here. And then these are just some clothes. These two aren't going to stay. They're just new, but yep. That's what the shelf looks like for now. I need to fix this. I know it's the six just upside down, but I couldn't find the nine. So 30, 39 weeks. There we go. Um, and yeah, it's looking good. I want to quickly share some things that I've picked up recently. Um, just in like the last few weeks of pregnancy and just kind of um, just been browsing. Um, my mom and I have been trying not to go too many places because of the spike in COVID-19 cases, but at the same time, I need to keep walking to help my labor come on. And it is way too hot to be walking outside. And we don't really have any like wooded areas close to our house that we can just walk to um so it's just too hot and too sunny for us to be walking outside so we try to walk around uh places that don't have a lot of people in them and we like socially distance and wear a mask as best we can well we always wear a mask but we try to socially distance as best we can because you can't always control people getting too close to you yeah i just have some random things this is stuff that i've picked up in like the last month um that i need to put away so yeah um from target i got this hot and cold gel bead compress um i got this in case my boobs get like super inflamed and like clogged uh milk ducts or something um i got this to like put it on my boobs to help them feel better. So yeah, this was like six bucks from Target. Um, from Marshalls, I fell in love with this sweet little um, like sleeper. And it's by the Nicole Miller brand. Um, but it has this cute little like frilly ruffle going down. And it's super cute, it comes with a headband. And it's in three to six months and it was 10 bucks. Um, I just couldn't resist. I thought it was just so sweet. And then <clears throat> whenever I see packs of these rompers um, on clearance for six bucks for two, I always grab them. So this one's really cute. It's like pink and speckled and has little flowers on it. And then this one is just striped with the little lace detailing. And it also comes with a matching headband. And these are in a size, I think, yeah, I think it's just six months. So that's that. My mom and I were walking around our mall yesterday and we were in Dillard's and I've had my eye on this set since it came out and I wanted it, but it was so expensive. Um, it's this little onesie with the little Peter Pan collar and the little bunny detail and it comes with pink pants and it's just so darling. And it was so expensive. It was $24 for just it's these two little pieces. But um, I got it on clearance for $8.40. So that was definitely a steal. And this is in a size three months. Went to TJ Maxx. And I found a Posh Peanut 
um, swaddle blanket, which if you've heard of Posh Peanut, you know they're very expensive. Um, it's like a luxury baby brand. But I love this burnt orange color, and uh, this blanket was literally, the, a swaddle was literally $3. And I think these retail for like 30 or 40 bucks just for one. So um, yeah, it's really soft. So I can't wait to be able to use that on her. And I love this color. So as you can see, one last thing from the mall. My mom and I have had our eye on this sweet little dress. Um, pretty much since I found out she was a girl. Um, we just, it's just so sweet. Um, and it's a onesie underneath and it's really light material. Like it's going to be perfect for summertime. Um, and it was originally like 50 bucks and we got it on sale for 20. Um, and it's just so sweet and she's going to be so cute in this next year when she's about a year old. Um, she could even wear it for her birthday. I don't know, but it's just so cute. And then the last thing I got is for the nursery and it's just this basket that I'm going to use for her laundry. Um, and I got it from Home Goods for like 12 bucks. So yeah, that's, those are the only things that I've really picked up <laughs> in the last like month or two for her. I have really, um, cut back because we just have everything that we need. Um, thankfully. Um, um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to put all of this away and um, organize some things a bit better. So I just kind of set up my little diaper caddy for when she gets here. So uh, these are just some um, uh, like mats that I'll lay on top of the changing pad. I have a sample of Honest Wipes. This is some diaper cream. And then I have four different types of diapers in here. I have two pairs of Honest to try. These are Pampers Pure. Um, these are Cloud Island, which I've not heard great things about, but, um, I'll try them anyway. <laughs> and then these are seventh generation, which I've not heard a lot about, but I want to try them, uh, just because they're more 
better for the environment than the average disposable diaper. So that's what I got going on in there. And then over here, we got some Aquaphor. Um, I hear this is really, really good. And then I finally found baby powder that doesn't have talc in it. And the fragrance is natural fragrance. So that was really, really hard to find. Um, and finally found it. So this will probably be the only baby powder that I use. And then I also got these. Um, they're just all-purpose surface wipes. I got these to like wipe down her changing pad or wipe down her high chair when she eats in her high chair, wipe down her bathtub and her car seat and her stroller. So these will be great. Um, I'm just keeping them here for now and that's her changing pad and then underneath here are all her extra wipes. There's a ton. It goes all the way back the length of this desk. So yeah, that's her changing area. It's not like super cute and glamorous like a lot of the other ones, but it's functional and it'll work. Um, and that's all that matters. reorganizing her bins a little bit. I had one of these full of books and toys and I felt like that was kind of a waste because she's not going to be playing with her toys like super soon. So I went ahead and I put them in that tub that I have that is for like her toys and her stuffed animals. So I went ahead and put all those in there and now I have an empty one of these that I have more room for diapers in. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage, well not unpackage some diapers, but just store some more packs of diapers in this bin so that I don't have such a large box of diapers stacked in the corner over here. <laughs> hospital and then this is my husband's bag and a blanket for the hospital and then yesterday or the day before we built the bassinet it was super easy we were given this it's the chico lala go nest um it's really nice it's great for traveling which we will definitely use it for that and it has a pocket over here and then this piece comes up so she can get some shade or you know we can try to keep it dark for her um the only complaint that i read about this bassinet was that in the middle here 
because it gets folded up for travel, there's a little divot. And sometimes that causes the baby to move either too far up or too far down. Um, but people say that they um, fix the issue by putting a piece of plywood right underneath that. So if we have issues with that, we'll try that. Um, if not, I don't think it's the biggest deal. Overall, this bassinet has really great reviews. This is the bassinet sheet that I will put on when we get home with her. And then this we were gifted as well. I don't know if I'm going to use it, um, especially when she's newborn, because I don't know if it's safe, but it's to keep her from rolling over. It's to keep her sleeping on her back, and you can, like, adjust it um, to her size. So we'll see about that. Um, it's not going to stay here. Um, my husband has talked about putting his guitar equipment away since he's not going to be able to play for a little bit, but I don't really want him to have to do that. Um, and there's plenty of room over here for the bassinet, but the problem is this is my husband's side of the bed, not mine. This is my side of the bed, and there's just not enough room. So we might end up having to, like, move this nightstand, like, over here and pushing the bed further that way so that we can fit the bassinet by me, but I don't know yet. Um, we should probably have that figured out already, but I don't know. I literally had this room like spotless the other day, like super clean, everything. Like this is still clean, but like I cleaned everything. I vacuumed and had this room all ready to go for baby and it's like already is a wreck again. And it's just, so annoying and I don't want to blame it on my husband because it's not really his fault it's 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 her fault too because she's shedding like crazy right now yeah you are and so her her fur gets all over our floor and then my husband just always throws his pjs in the corner and then he always has water bottles and stuff on his nightstand that I have to clean up and then I just I don't know this room is like, it's a struggle. And like, she doesn't let me make the bed properly because she won't get off of the bed when I get up. But it's okay, because she's a princess and I love her. So I thought I would quickly mention, not that like any of you would care that much, but it means something to me. Um, my husband and I got married two years, not married. <laughs> my husband and I got engaged two years ago today. So on 7-11 of 2018, that was the day that we got married. And I can't, I'm so stupid. That was the day we got engaged. Our wedding anniversary is next month. Um, so yeah, we had a very, very short engagement, but everybody was aware that we were going to have a short engagement. We let people know beforehand. Um, but yes, yeah, so we got engaged two years ago today and he proposed to me in our hometown in a really sweet way that I haven't really shared with anyone. Um, but then we went up to Disney Springs for the day um, and spent um, spent our day there, and it was a lot of fun. If I can find some pictures, I'll insert them. Um, but yes, I um, totally forgot until I looked at my phone this morning and like the memory thing on like Time Hop and uh, Facebook shows up, and so. That was exciting and made me happy. So I'll have to tell him when he gets home that it's like our engagement anniversary. We should try to do something either tonight or tomorrow to celebrate <laughs> before she comes. <laughs> spread for next week which is so weird because I could potentially have a baby anywhere between now and like then or I could have her the following week as well so it's just really weird to plan my week even though like I don't know like any one of these days my life could change forever and all these plans are just complete gibberish <laughs> Um, but this was my last week. I think I showed you guys. It turned out pretty cute. Um, uh, pretty 
happy with it for the most part. Then this is this week. Um, I, I don't think I've ever shared this, but our due date is actually my parents' 50th anniversary. So if it happens to work out, that's like super cool. And like we can give them a grandchild for their 50th anniversary, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is my week. I don't really plan on going anywhere too much other than my appointment. I'm going to try uh, to stay home but still stay active and stay walking um as much as I can and just try to get as much stuff done as I can I I pretty much have everything ready for her the only thing we have to do is like build her swing and set up the monitor that's pretty much the two biggest things that we have to do so I'm my biggest goal is to try to keep everything like all of our um, area clean and organized so that whenever I go into labor, like, I don't have a pile of laundry to fold or a, a room to vacuum or a bathroom to clean or whatever. So I'm going to try to just stay on top of cleaning as much as I can. Um, so we bring her into a fresh, clean house and I don't have to worry about it for a while. Uh, but yeah, this is my spread for the week. So I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures for my Instagram. Also quickly just wanted to say that if by the time this video goes up, my shop will be closed. Hopefully it'll only be closed for a couple of weeks. Um, that's my goal because like, I don't get enough orders for it to like be too out of hand, I don't think, with a newborn. Um, and a lot of the orders that people place are things that are made to ship, so it's not like I have to um, print and cut a lot of stickers or anything so yeah just want to let you guys know that um shop is most likely closed when you see this video but it shouldn't be closed for too long um i know that with the disney parks opening re recently um people have more reason to buy uh disney pins and disney related items um and i'm i sell a lot of that in my shop so if you were wanting anything and you didn't get to place an order before it closed, don't worry, I should be open again very soon. Honestly, with all of that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I don't have too many more exciting things that I need to do today, and I honestly just kind of want to take it easy and play some Animal Crossing and read some more of my book. I'm trying to finish Ina May's Guide to Childbirth before I go into labor, and I only have like... I have, um a chunk of the book left, but it's a pretty small chunk. So I'm just gonna try to finish that today as well, just so that I have read the book cover to cover and uh, know as much as I can from that book. Um, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much my uh, plan for the rest of the day. So not too exciting and not anything worth vlogging. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Pray for me if I go into labor before this video goes up or right after this video goes up. Um, just, uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. Um, I don't know if this will be the last video or the last vlog at least. I have no idea. It, you never know. Um, I could very well make it to 41 weeks. It's so uh, hard to tell with first time moms. So. We'll see, but I hope you guys are staying happy and safe and healthy during this time, and I hope you all are having a wonderful week. Goodbye.